Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Days Gone. I am your host, Lord Fenton. Today's Days Gone Fear. We're doing the Cloverdale Facility Missions. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Days Gone content like this. Before we do all these uh, Cloverdale Facility Missions, we're going to go ahead and do this uh, little short story mission. I'll be back uh, afterwards. Taylor. What's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle yeah, of all of this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Is that Osbien? You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Well, Taylor lost an ear. He's guarding a medical facility. I don't know if it's going to screw that up or not. Now we're going to do the uh, story mission which involves the Cloverdale facility with Sarah. Yes, Sarah will be going with you on this story mission. This is one of the uh, great ones in the game. It's very good. It's also a lot of action, a lot of cutscenes too. And it's well worth it. It makes the story really well worth it too. So you know what, I'm going to start this uh, mission right now. That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Where Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. 
I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see if I'm static. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Well, that was a lot of dialogue between Deacon and Sarah. You know what? I'm going to let those dialogue keep on going uninterrupted, but first let's uh, get by this guy. Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're going to have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <sighs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious! What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. I... Pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down, so I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring, and that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you?
must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Well, we gotta move this vehicle out of the way to get to the Cloverdale facility to get a piece of equipment. Well, Colonel Garrett, in one of the uh, cutscenes earlier in the uh, video, wanted Sarah to stay there, but Sarah wants to get the equipment. He basically said, you're more important than a piece of equipment. Yeah, something tells me Militia is not all there, especially Colonel Garrett. His speech has lately been off. You know what? I'm gonna ride to the Cloverdale facility. Let's see what's going on. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I've seen worse, but yeah. This looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God! What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Go, 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 go! 
Crows. Goddamn Crows. They're infected. It's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Yes, we are finally inside. Despite the fact it had 8k worth of electricity, Sarah got us in, which is really good. So there's this, this door up ahead. Now, you could have the option to get all the clues here to figure out what happened with this place, but that's purely optional. So we're going to advance the story. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and... That was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Well, we can't go through the front door. We have to go through uh, somewhere else. Still, wow. People getting shot in their cars when they try to leave. Whoa. This isn't good. Uh, sounds like the Cloverdale facility went uh, bonkers when the world went to hell. Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, god, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Now, real quick, we have to get into the uh, Cloverdale warehouse somehow, so we're going to have to use this uh, ladder right here. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Yeah. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Open fire! Get down. 
mother fuck you were saying? Yeah. This world is stop anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Stay up here and keep a covery fire. Alert. Do whatever you want to distract them. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. I'll signal you when it's clear. You get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? The voices drive me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. It's clear. Deadly force is authorized Come for in. use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force yeah. is authorized. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Like uh, some of the employees decided to defend this place, and we gotta fight them off and kill them. Now, here's the thing: you gotta make sure Sarah does not die. However, Sarah is pretty good. She is up there in my top three for uh, party members. I'd probably say Boo is still number one. I'm gonna move her up to number two, then Ricky's number three. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID two zero zero seven six five nine. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is Alert. in lockdown. Alert. Repeat. This is a level Override. 4 alarm. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security, Security protocol building. Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh god, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, Warning. let me go in first. Deadly force is authorized hey, this for time, use against we all go in trespassers. Together. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Where'd you come from? Incoming! Finally. Shit. Alert. Snipers. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert, alert. 911 has been Ready? called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. <sighs> alert, Let's make sure it's clear. alert. This is yeah, a level on it. four. Shots have been fired. Security personnel to the main. It's clear in here. Nothing here. All right, now I have to locate the atrium. So hopefully I do find it. In the meantime, go ahead and loot everything up that is not nailed down. Most likely you're not going to come back here ever again. Is authorized. It's clear. Same here. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Okay. Police it's clear. are on their way. Stand They're waiting down for us, and you will not be harmed.
Come on, let's Alert. try the door. Alert. Sarah Base Irene Whitaker, ID 200765, security override and disable the fucking voice response. To the maintenance building. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Warning. Fucking Deadly bitch! Is authorized for hey, use hey, against going all in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Warning. Every gun Deadly on the other side of that is door authorized. is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Alert. Alert. Over here. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you Alert. to go up there, Alert. lay down suppressing this fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, when I go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one part of it. What's that? The door's locked. Huh. Shit. Warning. Deadly force is authorized what? for use against all trespassers. All right, we're going to do a dangerous ideal. I do mean a very dangerous ideal with Sarah. So somehow we got to clear out more of these uh, employees that went uh, crazy. Yeah, they went a little bit cray cray after the apocalypse went down. So for now, I'm going to try and figure out where I am going exactly and then uh, have some fun. All right, there's some. Uh, OK, that's full kerosene. Good thing I've been a sharpshooter in this episode. Wait, what are you doing? Alert. Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will Here, not be harmed. I'm hard. gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. <sighs> alert! Alert! This is a Ready? Level four. Yep. <clears throat> you got it? Security <clears throat> personnel yeah. to the maintenance building. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Warning. Okay. Deadly force is Go. authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. I know you're in there! Answer me, goddammit! It's Sarah Whitaker! I want you, remember? Deacon Lee St. John. ID 5429009. She's up there! St. John. Damn it, Welcome to Cloverdale like this! 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 Welcome to Jim goes scurrying into the office up there. <sighs> Alert. Wait here. Alert. This is a you. level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. We need him alive! 
God damn it, I said hands! Uh, all right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> we just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. about God this is my fault I, I don't understand your I should fault. have seen it when it first went in I mean we used to grow wild ginger and and grape root here and then all of this changed they sealed everything off they took away my clearance God David kept telling me he kept telling me that something was wrong okay okay who's who's David so David I'm... Gorman he was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I classified don't know. Classified project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman, he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deke and I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. 
Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. All right, we are now officially outside. That was a lot of combat, a lot of action, a lot of cutscenes. Now we got to turn off Cloverdale's electric fences so we get the heck out of here once and for all. Oh boy, there's a whole bunch of criers, I think it is, looks like. We won't have to deal with them somehow. I'll be back after. So, it's gotta be it. That does it. Burn, you little bastards. I just gotta jimmy that door. Come on, open, open, open. Got it. All right, I made it inside the room. That's good. That was a lot of things that went down again. So now next up I gotta flip the switch and that's it, basically, for this part of the uh, story mission. So I'm gonna get ready just in case there's some serious uh, danger or even some cool cutscenes, or both. Mm. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the river... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was me, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, Deep? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a- I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here... It, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work. Uh, by Iron Butte, he's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I 
St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. All right, we made it out of there. So all we need to do is get to Sarah, and that's it. Now, once you do get to Sarah, what will happen will be a long uh, cutscene. Very touching at this point. I'm not going to even spoil it, so here we go. Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. <laughs> It's clear. Are you going to come out and eat something? Warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah.
Well, look like the Cloverdale uh, story missions has been uh, complete. We couldn't take the risk. It's officially done. 10k worth of experience points. Wizard Island Trust is 700 points, which is good. I'm never uh, giving up. It's over 50%. Someone that I used to know got some unlock. A remote bomb. Pretty nice. Really nice. So now we're going to listen in on some radio chatter. And in the next video, we're going to get the speech done too. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Oh, God damn it. Well, we have done a lot in the Cloverdale facility for uh, all the story missions there. Well, that is it for uh, today's video with Deacon and Sarah. This is uh, Lord Fitton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everyone.